Time for English on the go, which means we're going to take a look at a clip sent to us from a native speaker who could be anywhere in the world. Today we have our Ukrainian friend, Aliona. 네, Aliona 씨의 이야기를 들어보겠습니다. 오늘은 Aliona 씨 같은 경우에는 지금 오늘 이야기에서 그런 얘기를 해줘요. Mm-hmm. 어, 어른이 되고 나서는 새로운 친구를 사귀는 것이 조금 더 조심스러워졌다. 누구나 공감할 수 있는 이야기죠. Mm-hmm, 네. For sure. So I'm really curious how that goes hand in hand with keep tabs on. Mm-hmm. So should we call her out and find out? Yes. Aliona Shi, now you say. Have you noticed that it's much more difficult making new friends, especially new close friends, as an adult as opposed to when you were a child? I personally make a lot of new acquaintances. Because I'm somewhat social, but I've noticed that I don't really make new close friends as an adult. I'd rather prefer to stick to my old friends than new ones. And I've noticed that is because I tend to keep very close tabs on all the people that I meet. As opposed to as a child, I would just go and hang out with them without thinking about the consequences. So... Every time I meet a new person these days, I will watch them closely, I will watch how they act, I will watch how they act around other people and how they treat me, just to make sure that their personality matches mine and their qualities match mine as well so we can actually become good friends. Yes, that's definitely something we can relate to as we get older, the more carefully we choose our friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 사실 그 나이가 들면서 더 친구를 사귀는데 조심스러워진다기보다는 또 친구를 그냥 랜덤으로 임의로 사귀게 될 만나게 될 기회들도 줄어드는 것 같아요. Oh yeah. When we were younger, when we were um, small children, we would just be put in Uh, uh, the same classroom with a bunch of other kids that yeah. we didn't know before. Uh-huh. And there were many opportunities to interact and to hang out mm-hmm. with those friends. Yeah, so it's very natural that we have fewer and fewer new friends added to our social circle every year as mm-hmm. we get older. For sure. Yeah, but that was a really interesting way to put it. It was. Yeah. It was great. So since we have kind of talked a little bit about mm-hmm. what she said, why don't we get into it and study what she said line by line. Have you noticed that it's much more difficult making new friends, especially new close friends, as an adult? Have you noticed that it's much more difficult making new friends, especially new close friends, as an adult? Have you noticed? 라고 질문으로 이제 문장이 시작되곤 있지만 mm-hmm. 아직까지는 그 마지막 무, 물음표까지는 보여드리지 못했습니다. 좀 mm-hmm. 길이가 있어요. 중간에 잘랐는데 Have you noticed? 눈치채셨나요? 아셨나요? Mm-hmm. 어, 공감을 이끌어내고 싶은 질문을 할때 이렇게 말을 하죠. Have yeah. you noticed that Megan has been especially nice to everyone recently? I don't know, but have you noticed that h y u n o s i m seems a bit more quiet than usual? Today? Yeah. Okay, I'll try to be not so quiet. All right. Anyway, 그래서 이렇게 혹시 눈치채셨나요? 라고 물어보고 싶을 때 그러면 상대방이 Oh yes, 또는 Not really, 하겠죠. Mm-hmm. That it's much more difficult making new friends. 새로운 친구를 만드는 것이 훨씬 더 어렵다는 것을 Especially new close friends. 새로운 mm-hmm. 친구를 사귈 수는 있지만 그냥 yeah. 지인 정도로 알고 지내는 거지 Close yeah. friends가 되기는 더 힘들다는 것을 눈치채셨나요? 느끼셨나요? 그런데 mm-hmm. as an adult, 이게 핵심이죠. That's right. It's as an adult is important. Mm-hmm. But as an adult, is she going to compare that with being something else? 네. 뭔가 비교를 할것 같은데요. 바로 다음 문장이 나옵니다. As opposed to when you were a child. As opposed to when you were a child. 앞에 나왔던 그 as an adult, 어른으로서 어른이 되어서 새로운 친구를 특히 가까운 새로운 친구로 사귀는 것이 어렵다는 거 느끼셨나요? 근데 뭐에 비해서 바로 이제 어렸을 때에 비해서인데요. 뭐뭐에 비해서라고 할때 이런 표현을 썼습니다. That's right. As opposed to As opposed to. As opposed to. Mm-hmm. Oppose 자체를 쓰게 되면 이제 반대하는 거예요. You're, yes, yeah. you're against something. Yes. I'm opposed to Hyunwoo Sim sitting next to me. 아, 그래요? Yeah. Do you want me to sit behind you? 
or in front of you? In front of in you front, is okay. In front yeah, is okay. okay. I'll just block your, um, I guess, way. <laughs> I'll sit in front of you between the camera and yourself. Okay, great. That way I can keep tabs on you. Okay, ah. <laughs> Because you're in front of me. 제가 앞에 앉아 있으면 잘 보이겠군요. Keep tabs <laughs> on my back, right? <laughs> 아무튼 그 반대되는 개념을 이야기할 때 정말 많이 쓰는 것이 as opposed, opposed to. to. 왜냐면 방금 이야기한 것처럼 잠깐 다른 이야기했지만 I am opposed to something 하면은 저는 그것에 반대합니다라는 mm-hmm. 뜻이거든요. Mm-hmm. So as opposed to 뭐뭐에 비해서 뭐뭐에 반해서 어렸을 때에 비해서 어렸을 때와는 달리 어, 어른이 되어서는 그렇게 새로운 친구를 사귀고 친해지는 것이 어렵다는 것을 느끼셨나요? 라는 질문이 완성이 됐습니다. Mm-hmm. So she tells us a little bit about herself personally. What does she say? I personally make a lot of new acquaintances because I'm somewhat social. I personally make a lot of new acquaintances because I'm somewhat social. 여기에 나오는 personally는 사실은 중요하진 않아요. Yeah, it's not that important. 네, 그냥 I make a lot of 해도 똑같은 의미가 됩니다. Mm-hmm. 그래서 번역할 필요도 없겠고요. 그래서 저는 제 경우에는 이렇습니다라고 말하고 싶을 때 그냥 살짝 느낌만 첨가해 주는 형태가 됩니다. Mm-hmm. I make a lot of new acquaintances. Acquaintance. 그 acquaintance, mm-hmm. 이제 acquaintance가 누군가를 알게 되는 그 과정 자체가 acquaintance거든요. Make someone's acquaintance. I'm happy to make your acquaintance라고 굉장히 격식을 갖춘 그런 말도 있어요. I'm happy to make your acquaintance. 당신과 알게 되어서 반갑습니다. 근데 그것을 이제 좀더 확장을 해서 acquaintance라고 사람을 가리키게 되면은 지인, 아는 사람. 그러니까 우리 말로도 친구는 진짜 친구고 지인은 그냥 뭐 전화번호 정도 아는 사람. 이름 정도 알고 어떤 일 하는지 정도는 알지만 진짜 친구는 아닌 사람 그 구분이 있잖아요. 영어로도 비슷합니다. Mm-hmm. 그래서 어, I make a lot of acquaintances 지인들을 많이 만나게 돼요. Mm-hmm. 계속. Mm-hmm. Because I'm somewhat social. 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 She loves going out and talking and being with people. 네. 모임 같은 데 가게 되면은 그냥 혼자 구석에서 물 마시고 있는 것이 아니고 가서 Hi, I am Leona. Hi, I am Megan. I am Hyunwoo. 이렇게 수도 청하고 Nice to make your acquaintance. Yes, nice Hello? to make your acquaintance. 이렇게. What's that? It's social. <웃음> yeah, social. Yeah. It's not like you're scared of meeting other people. No, no. Yeah. Perfect. 좋아요. So, what does she say next? But I've noticed that I don't really make new close friends as an adult. But I've noticed that I don't really make new close friends as an adult. 다시 한번 그 as an adult가 나오고 있는데요. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I've noticed, 그러니까 somewhat social한 자신의 이야기를 하면서 mm-hmm. 계속 아는 사람은 늘어갑니다. Mm-hmm. 그런데 I've noticed, 이런 사실을 깨달았어요. I don't really make new close friends. Mm. 어, 새로운 가까운 친구는 만, 별로 만들지 않는다는 것을 알게 됐대요. 생각해 보니까. Mm. 근데 as an adult, 다시 한번 나오고 있어서 강조를 하자면 mm-hmm. 어른으로서는 안 만든다면 그러면 뭘로서는 만든다는 거예요? Does she have two personalities? No, she's just saying now that she has become an adult. 그렇죠. She's social, she has acquaintances, but not close friends. Yeah. Now that she's become an adult, as opposed to when she was a child. 그렇죠. 사실 as an adult를 그냥 고지고대로 번역을 하면 어른으로서, 어른의 신분으로 라고가 되는데 yeah. 이제 우리가 좀더 이해하기 쉬운 말로 바꾸면 Because I, I am. am an adult. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that next. It's more like because I am an adult yeah. now. Yeah. Right? 만약에 학생이라면 as a student를 이용해서 예를 들어 It's not easy to travel around the world as a, an adult. Mm-hmm. 학생 신분으로 전 세계 여행을 하는 것은 세계를 막 돌아다니, 돌아다니는 것은 어렵습니다. 라는 말은 mm-hmm. 그럼 학생 신분 말고 그러면 나는 갑자기 똑같은데 mm-hmm. 사업가 신분으로, 무슨 신분으로, 이게 아니고요. Mm-hmm. 학생임으로, 지금의 상황을 말할 때 as an adult, mm-hmm. 이렇게 이야기를 합니다. Mm-hmm. 자, 그럼 다음 문장으로 바로 넘어가 보죠. Mm-hmm. I'd rather prefer to stick to my old friends than new ones. I'd rather prefer to stick to my old friends than new ones. Stick. Mm-hmm. To stick to, it means that you keep them close. Mm-hmm. You lean on those people. 그렇죠. You don't go away from them. <laughs> yes. And also, you keep close to an action. You continue doing something. Oh, yeah. So you can stick to 
break dancing. Yeah, or that you means can, you keep doing it, right? You can stick to watching 생활 영어. Yes, please watch us every day. Please keep watching us. Continue watching us. Stick with us. Yes, 그래서 stick이라는 것 자체가 이제 스티커도 원래 그 들러붙는 종이가 스티커잖아요. Yeah, it's a sticker. Stick. Yes, it sticks on. Yeah, it sticks on something. 그래서 stick 하면은 붙는 건데 붙으니까 떨어지지 않고. 지속성을 가지겠고 계속하게 되겠죠. Mm-hmm. Stick to 또는 stick with 한 다음에 사람을 쓰게 되면은 그 사람하고 계속 있는 거예요. Yeah. 다른 사람 만날 거니까 이제 바이 바이 하는 것이 아니고 계속해서 그 친구들만 만납니다. Mm-hmm. I would rather 반대로 prefer 이것을 선호하겠습니다. 그러니까 mm-hmm. making new close friends가 아니라 mm-hmm. to stick to my old friends than new ones. Mm-hmm. 새로운 친구보다는 그냥 오래된 친구를 만나는 걸 선호합니다. Mm-hmm. 스틱 투의 예를 하나만 더 들어, 들어보자면 okay. 이번에 예를 들어서 새로운 스마트폰이 나왔어요. Okay, so there's a new smartphone yeah. that came out. Yeah, with like 50 megapixel cameras. Oh wow, that's a lot, isn't it? <웃음> 네, 5천만 화소 뭐가 나왔는데 예를 들어서 그냥 I will, 나는 mm-hmm. 그냥 그 오래된 내 전화기 쓰겠다. Ah, so I will stick with my old phone. Yeah, or I will stick To my old phone. Mm-hmm. 이렇게 하시면 됩니다. 나 그냥 mm-hmm. 이거, 쓰, 이거 계속 쓸래. I will not change my phone. Yes, I will not buy the new 50 megapixel exactly. camera phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Perfect. So she says she's noticed the reason why she sticks to her old friends. Next. And I've noticed that is because I tend to keep very close tabs on all the people that I meet. And I've noticed that is because I tend to keep very close tabs on all the people that I meet. 이 문장 같은 경우에는 이렇게 일단 번역을 하긴 했는데 mm-hmm. 뜻이 크게 두 가지가 있을 수 있기 때문에 둘다 아셔야 됩니다. Okay. Uh, and I've noticed 제가 느낀 바로는 뭐냐면 that is because 그것의 이유는 뭐냐면요. I tend to keep very close tabs on all the people that I meet. 제가 만나게 되는 사람들 모두 다 keep um, Close, uh, close mm-hmm. tabs, Joe. Close, mm-hmm. 아니고, close. Close. 네, 가까운 거니까. Yes. S 발음. Mm-hmm. Keep very close tabs on all the people that I meet. Mm-hmm. 그 자리에서 이제 여기서 이제 키워드 나왔죠. Mm-hmm. 예의 주시하다. Keep tabs on. Mm-hmm. 그 자리에서 계속 보고 있는 것도 keep tabs on이고 mm-hmm. 만나게 된 사람이 요즘에는 뭐 하고 지내는지, yeah. 새로 들어간 회사는 어떤지. 또는 요즘에 예를 들어 육아는 지금 잘 되고 있는지 right. 이런 것들을 계속 관심을 갖는다는 이야기도 돼요. Yeah, and in this case, sometimes when people say keep tabs on, it means they're looking at their actions too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And in this case, it was close to that. It's not, oh, you know, what school are you going to and this. 그쵸. It's like, what kind of person are they? 네, 그래서 그몇 문장 더 들어보면은 그 방금 이 뜻이라는 거, 아까 제가 설명한 기준으로는 첫 번째 뜻, 유심히 지금 어떻게 행동하는지를 보는 것이 있고 right. 이제 만나고 나서 친구가 지인이 된 다음에 그냥 1년째 연락 안 하고 2년째 연락 안 하고 그런 거 아니고 no. 한, 한 달에 한 번씩은 그래도 연락하거나 잠깐 얼굴 보고 mm-hmm. 그런 뜻도 있을 수 있잖아요. 근데 mm-hmm. 여기서는 그 자리에서 잘 본다는 거예요. Like, mm. 네, 자 그러면 한번 다음 문장으로 진행을 해볼까요? Mm-hmm. As opposed to as a child, I would just go and hang out with them without thinking about the consequences. As opposed to, as a child, I would just go and hang out with them without thinking about the consequences. As opposed to, 다시 한번 나오고 있어요. Yeah. 뭐뭐에 반해서, 뭐뭐에 비해서, 그거와는 반대로 mm-hmm. As a child, as an adult, 두번 나왔고 As, as a, a child, child 나왔으니까, 어렸을 때는 mm-hmm. I would just, 뭐뭐 하곤 했는데 그냥 Go and hang out with them. 여기서 말하는 them은 누구예요? The acquaintances, our friends. Yeah, new people. Yeah, new people. Without thinking about the consequences. Mm-hmm. Consequences. 여러 번 소개를 했습니다. Consequences는 mm-hmm. 어떤 일의 결과인데 일반적으로 좋지 않은 결과들. Mm-hmm. So, 이런 아이들하고 어울리면 어떻게 될까? 이런 아이들이랑 어울리면 어떻게 될까? 이런 생각 안 하고 mm-hmm. 그냥 어 oh, 애들이 놀고 있네 나도 가야지. Yeah. 했다는 거죠. For sure. Mm. So you didn't really look and keep tabs on what kind of people they were mm. or if you could get into trouble with them. 그렇죠. 어떤 사람들과 내가 어울리게 되는 건지에 대해서는 어렸을 때는 생각을 안 했는데 mm-hmm. 어른이 되니까 you keep tabs on everyone. That's right. Yeah. So what does she do every time she meets a new person these days? So every time I meet a new person these days, 
I will watch them closely. I will watch how they act. So every time I meet a new person these days, I will watch them closely. I will watch how they act. 그래서 every time I meet a new person these days, 요즘에는 새로운 사람을 만날 때마다 mm -hmm. I will watch them closely. Mm -hmm. 유심히 지켜본대요. Sure. And I will watch how they act. 그 사람의 물론 외모를 유심히 볼 수도 있겠지만 mm -hmm. 행동을 본다는 이야기가 맞겠죠. Yeah, their actions. 네. What, what are they doing? 네. 그래서 사실 watch them 하고 watch how they act은 똑같은 거예요. Yeah. 네. Because when you're watching someone, you're watching for how they act too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 자, 그럼 다음 문장으로 바로 넘어가 보죠. I will watch how they act around other people and how they treat me just to make sure that I will watch how they act around other people and how they treat me just to make sure that 또뭘 보냐면 I will watch how they act 행동을 보긴 보는데 나 앞에서의 행동 내 앞에서의 행동이 아니고 uh, around, around other, other people. people 다른 사람 앞에서는 어떻게 행동하는지도 볼 필요가 있겠죠 mm -hmm. And how they treat me, mm -hmm. 그들이 나를 어떻게 대하는지를 본대요. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure that 뒷부분에 나오는 내용을 확실히 하기 위해서 확실히 mm -hmm. 그것만큼은 해놓고 가기 위해서인데요. 그 확실히 하고 싶은 내용이 마지막 부분에 나옵니다. Mm -hmm. Their personality matches mine and their qualities match mine as well so we can actually become good friends. Their personality matches mine, and their qualities match mine as well, so we can actually become good friends. Make sure, 그런데 그 내용이, make sure that their personality matches mine. Mm -hmm. Their personality, 그들의 성격이, matches mine은 내 것, 내... With my personality. Personality를 생략한 거고요. Mm -hmm. 그래서 그들의 성격과 내 성격이 확실히 맞게끔... 맞는다는 것을 확인하기 위해서 mm -hmm. and their qualities 여기서 말하는 quality는 이제 그 사람의 어떤 특징 yeah. 네. things about them yeah. like special things mm -hmm. or like you know just facts about them 그렇죠 게으른 사람인지 부지런한 mm -hmm. 사람인지 yeah. 아니면 약속을 잘 지키는 사람인지 또는 아침에 일찍 일어나는 사람인지 mm -hmm. 책 읽는 걸 좋아하는지 그런 다양한 그 사람의 측면들을 다 quality라고 하는데요 mm -hmm. 그들의 특징들이 내 특징과 잘 맞는지 확인하기 위해서입니다. Mm -hmm. So we can actually become, become good, good friends. friends. 우리가 실제로 좋은 친구가 될수 있도록 말입니다. 딱 봤는데 안 맞을 것 같다 그러면 아예 가까워질 생각도 안 한다는 이야기가 될것 같아요. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right. So thank you so much for that very in-depth clip about making friends as an adult. Mm -hmm. How about we review by looking at it one more time? Have you noticed that it's much more difficult making new friends, especially new close friends, as an adult as opposed to when you were a child? I personally make a lot of new acquaintances because I'm somewhat social, but I've noticed that I don't really make new close friends as an adult. I'd rather prefer to stick to my old friends than new ones. And I've noticed that is because I tend to keep very close tabs on all the people that I meet as opposed to as a child I would just go and hang out with them without thinking about the consequences so every time I meet a new person these days I will watch them closely I will watch how they act I will watch how they act around other people and how they treat me just to make sure that their personality matches mine and their qualities match mine as well so we can actually become good friends.